The next feature we're going to talk about is called the active clip indicator. I also call it follow the little white ball. <laughs> is it a bouncing ball? <laughs> a, well, no, it's a jump. Well, not really bouncing. It's a stair-steppy ball. Yeah, but it does kind of move. It moves up yeah, and down. Yeah, the ball moves yeah. up or down depending on what clip it's over. Okay. It's a quantum, okay, so. quantum bouncing ball. Yes. Now, if you look at the playhead, the ball is attached to the playhead. Now, yes. as long as I move it over the primary store line, it stays. But as soon as I move the playhead over a secondary store line, a connected store line, or any cl connected clip, the yes. ball jumps up to that level. Ah, okay. Jumps up. In fact, I can, I can go further with this. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this clip here, and I'll just throw this. I'll make another connected clip so you can see. Ball goes from here to here to here. And it pops up again. Pops okay. up and down. You can see, so see what, follow the bouncing ball. Well, what, is it, what does <laughs> it's it mean? Fun. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, it's, but, so sorry. it's fun, but what does it mean? Okay, okay. You can do a lot of really cool stuff. For one, you don't have to select stuff anymore. For instance, if you want to apply a speed effect or color time, or you have an effect and you want to adjust it in the inspector, no more having to select the clip now. As long as the little white ball, AKA the current clip indicator is over it, you don't have to do that. So for example, let's say I want to color adjust this clip right here, or let's do a speed adjust. So I move the play it over, you got the little white ball over the clip. Now mm -hmm. I go to the retime menu and I say slow, 50%. Final Cut Pro knew to add the speed effect or retime effect to the clip the ball was over. Okay. You can see, see? What pretty nice. Right. So, so certain edit operations will be applied to whatever the ball is over. Correct. Now that, you just saw speed, will also yeah. work on, uh, on color grading too. So I move the Move the playhead over. I got the ball over the shot mm -hmm. of these horses in the open range. It's a beautiful shot here. I want to do some color grading. So I'm going to go to the enhancement menu and choose show color board. And I'll just go to, I'll just go to saturation so you can see this. I'm, now I'm adjusting the saturation of that clip and I didn't even select it. Yep. It's just fantastic. So it seems to be that the ball represents the clip whose properties are available in the inspector, right? Yes. That's okay. true. So in fact, if you backed out to the video inspector, and there we see the name of this clip up there, 130807 is the name of the clip the ball's over. Correct. So if you move the playhead forward to another clip and stop for a second, look, that clip then appears in the inspector. That's a really so, good point. So it's like it's automatically opening up any clip the ball is over in the inspector for you. Yeah, there was a feature in, in Final Cut Studio that was that. Remember you had to, well, it the, was a toggle? Was it, yeah, it was like the playheads. Like yeah, kind of it was like open in viewer is what it was. Okay. You could select open viewer and automatically wherever the player, open. it would open up in the, in yeah. the viewer for you. Uh, that's very similar to this. Similar thing, no matter, so it tells you exactly the inspector controls what they're going to affect. So if you're messing around with color correction or transformations or effects, those changes will affect whatever the little white ball is over. Right, so if I, if I for example, uh, drag this color cast over, let's drop, drop it over this clip and then move my play it over it. Uh, notice I can adjust, there's the color cast amount, I can adjust, I can adjust it right there, change it, go, go ahead and change the color. It's, it's just affecting the clip that the ball's okay. over. And the ball's always over the uppermost clip. Always right? over the uppermost clip. Okay. So, but it doesn't tell you where certain operations like insert and over edit it's in that. that. That always goes to the primary storyline, right? Seems to be, yes. So for example, if I move the play into here, and let's say, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a clip, um, let's see, lifted, let me go down and find a clip. Oh, this clip will do. So let's say I select that clip and I want to insert. Uh, I'll just use these uh, edit buttons. If I want to insert that edit, well, you see the balls over the clip on the secondary storyline. If I click this insert, where is it going to insert? That's the question. It's going to insert it to the primary, primary storyline. Story and you would so think that, be, well, I don't know if you would think that, or just certain edit operations are relegated to the primary storyline only, right. and not where the ball is. Great, but retiming and anything involving the inspector, like color corrections or transformations or effects, all happen where the ball is. That's right. Got That's it. what I said. So okay. I start out, follow the bouncing ball, Called. and it's just it's huge. It's a huge time saver. I don't have to select. And by the way, you just brought up something that I was remiss to mention is that the only time this doesn't work is if you have a clip selected. So if I select this clip right here. The primary thing that's going to be adjusted is what's selected. It's going to ignore whatever the playhead okay. is over. Okay. In, In fact, fact you'll notice the ball's not, ball's even, not there even there now. anymore. Okay, so that's so, a good indicator. Right. So you, that's interesting. So I could be zoomed in. I'm yeah. thinking I'm working on this clip, yeah. but I'm not working on this clip because, well, because that clip's selected. That clip but now what you know, because now you're looking at a playhead and you're like, wait a minute, there's no white ball, so I must have a clip selected somewhere. So it'll tell you zoom out and find the thing or hit Shift Command A to deselect everything. That's right. So really, really important to know that. Very that, good. Uh, if clips is selected, it has priority.